there was a whole lot of buzz going on <laughs> yesterday inside Stadium One for the first time ever. We had a B invasion, Chanda. Steve, every open is your best open, but I think this is absolutely <laughs> your best yet. I have to tell you, I'm getting all the references, and this was unbelievable. And, and I, I, no pun intended, but Carlos Alcaraz, this was the biggest way he was attacked yesterday mm -hmm. was by the bees and he made short work as Vera afterwards but this was this was danger time and it was pretty amazing when we did get the beekeeper to come out and get the bees all of them were saved not a bee was harmed or so we've been told right? you got to save the bees <laughs> gotta they're save good for the environment but <laughs> it, it, and there he is there's our guy <laughs> sir lancelot lance davis coming out with the vacuum prakash I'm not sure that's the safest thing to do for the bees, but you know what? He looked like he was very comfortable with it, had no mask on, no nothing. Jim, correct me if I'm wrong, but I've seen maybe like a like a paraglider come on the court. I've seen protests. I've seen a streaker at Wimbledon, but I don't think I've ever seen bees. We know that at Wimbledon they have uh, they have the, the bird of prey that that protects the, the grounds there, and we've got uh, Lance Davis, the beekeeper, who protects the grounds here, which is not something we knew about until yesterday. But I, you know. Everyone is safe, especially the bees. And as Carlos Alcaraz put it, not all heroes wear capes. I think that's how he said it. But uh, And he's right because the crowd was going crazy when, when this gentleman showed up with his vacuum cleaner, which saves the bees. He puts them in this protective pouch. He takes them. He, he it's saves them. It, it's he amazing, them in a actually, box, uh, what we learned yesterday. And, you know, this was not the first day he came on site. He had to do a bee removal earlier in the tournament. And so... He was prepared. I'm, I'm just was amazed at how how calm and chill he was. There's no way that's my body no language. No gloves. <laughs> Nothing. No hat. It was, just, it was cold chilling just over there. Just amazing. And the guy resembled someone. We're trying to, to figure out who is this guy. Uh -uh. He looks just like Javier Bardem's character in No Country for Old Men. And that is one bad mojo right there. <laughs> he was, he uh, is, he is the, indeed. It was a and Javier Bardem level performance. And he's awesome. able to who get comes them. on and gets rid of the bees with, with no protective gear, yeah. that, that's somebody you want protecting you. And then he signed autographs after. He's, he took he pictures. Took he's a rock star now. Lance. But Lance it was David. crazy how they all just went right to the spider cam. It's actually, I think it's called bird cam. Of course, renamed bee cam in your honor now, Steve. But <laughs> they literally looked like they thought it was a hive. And we we're calling for them. But you got to lift that camera up. And they slowly lifted it up. And the bees just traveled up with him. It was unforgettable.